the same Okay, well, I, I'm, I'll preface. Um, I wasn't going to talk, but um, I've heard a lot of rumors about how Steve and I met, and I thought that I should clear it up. Um, although my, my mom disapproves of this story. <laughs> but I'm not embarrassed, and Steve's not embarrassed, I don't think. Um, <laughs> I, I, should I wait? I should wait. No, Steve wouldn't tell the Steve wouldn't tell the true story. He, you know. Do it right now, Wilson, before you come I need support. Okay. So um, I'll start with my. I got a message on my cell phone of um, it sounded like a gay man uh, saying like slur like slurring his words like I love it I love it I love it I love it. And I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know. I I'd never seen Ali G before. I didn't know. I didn't know what what what, what was going on. But it was a 617 area code. I was living in Boston at the time. So I was like, did I meet someone? That, I mean, I didn't know what was going on. I'm the kind of person that's like, who is pranking me? What is this? So I'm with my friend Jen, who lives in Boston. Jen, I'm with Jen. And I'm in the super, and, I'm, and I've been like, I've been trying to call this number, trying to find out who it is, and he won't pick up. And I'm texting him like really nasty things because I'm like, who are you to text, you know, prank me, da, 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 whatever. So finally he picks up and I'm with Jen in the supermarket. And, um, and I'm like, okay, how do you have my number? And he's like, oh, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. And apparently he knew the whole time, but he was just messing with me. And um, so we were saying, okay, how do you know, how do you have my number? How do you know me? What, what's, you know? What is it? So we're going through people that we know, that uh, people that we have uh, people in common, and there were some people in common, whatever. But then um, I ask, you know, I say, he tells me his name, Steve Glazer, and then Jen is next to me, and Jen's like, Jen says, oh, I know Lindsay Glazer. And Steve is like, Steve, because Jen picked up the phone, and Steve is like, oh, that's my sister. And it turns out that the two of them went to camp together. Tapper, that's exact right, right. So, so they went to camp together, and then we kept going on who we know, blah blah blah. And Steve was like, "Oh, do you remember um, a Ross Greenberg?" I'm like, uh, I'm like, wait, I'm like, uh, maybe like in New York. Steve's like, that's it. So I had given my number to Steve's friend Ross. Ross. <laughs> drinking that night and my name my name was in his phone and uh, when Steve and his friends get drunk <laughs> uh, they like pranking people like that. so that's Steve that's why I love him and um, you know Ross said prank this girl I don't know who she is you know she's perfect to, you know so that that's how it happened and and so I finally figured it out, and Steve and I, um, so I said, you know, I said, are you hot? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I can't exactly remember what he said, but it was one of his egotistical, like, uh, it was some sarcastic egotistical comment. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was like, and then he talked to Jen, and he was like, well, you should, you know, I was the best athlete in the world. <laughs> it was something of the sort. And um, so we, for some reason, we kept contact, like, through texting or whatever. And I was in Boston, he was in New York. And then, like, I don't know how, a few weeks later, we kept contact each other, like, just out of pure amusement, I guess. And, um, and then he, he came to Boston. And I was still uh, taking organic chemistry. And, um, and Jill and Michael were not home. <laughs> and, 
<laughs> and Stephen Steven invited me over, and he was supposed he was actually supposed to have a big party that night, and all the electricity blew out. There was nothing, so we had candles, and we played cards, and we did other things, and uh, we had we had a lot of fun, and. Um, I wasn't looking for anything serious, and neither was Steve. And um, we hung out with each other for the next few days. I had one week left of organic chemistry in Boston. And I came back to New York in Westchester. I was studying for the uh, dental whatever. And uh, Thank you. The DAT. Thank you, my dental friend. Um, and uh, I came back to New York and I visited, he was in New York City at the time, and I hung out with him like a couple days, two or three days out of the week. It was very nonchalant. And uh, then he had to move, like a couple months later. <laughs> he, had to move, he had to move a couple months later to California. And it all stemmed from that. She missed nothing. Oh wait, wait, I missed something. I missed something. So, um, so like a few months into us dating, um, I was at Dan, my Danny, who you guys met before. Uh, Danny and I were out to lunch, and um, as I was explaining to Danny, like as Steve's roommate, and I was saying like, Rob, he's Canadian, like whatever, and <laughs> yeah, and I was like. He's going to Hong Kong, and Danny's like, wait, Rob, Hong Kong. Like, wait, uh, does he have a girlfriend? I'm like, yeah, he's been dating this girl for a little while. Like, but I don't know. And Danny's like, I think that's my cousin Dana. <laughs> and I'm like, what? So she calls Dana, and it turns out that Danny's cousin, Dana, was dating Steve's best friend, Rob, who now have, are married and have babies. <laughs> and so, so, so weird coincidences, and I just had to share. <laughs> My beautiful bride, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> So for everybody that knows me, I hate being on the mic and the center of attention, but there are a few thank yous that I have to give out this evening. Um, Sing the boyfriend. <laughs> Melissa and I had pretty much nothing to do with this evening. <laughs> and it was our choice, and we left it to the ladies in our lives that took the reins and got it done. And uh, it couldn't be more perfect, and I couldn't be more happy to look around the room and see all our friends and family in one place and, and feel the love in the air. And from, <laughs> from uh, uh, Elliot and Ellen, thank you so much for your generosity. Melissa will never forget the shoes that she got tonight to wear. CC, you took the reins. This this evening is beautiful. Al, you bared with CC through this whole process, and we appreciate that. And, and he, uh, can't, he can't wait till it's over and have his wife back. <laughs> and my mother, Jill, the world's greatest executor. Yeah. <laughs> and all the lavender, everything lavender, Jill. Jill takes credit. So I just want to say thank you to all of you, and we love you all, and we're so happy to be here, and I'm psyched to be marrying Melissa. <laughs>